This is the Hoof GP, and this cow is extremely lame. This trim does not turn out the way I think it's gonna, and I'm pretty sure it's a bit of a surprise for you guys too. She's lame on her back left, so we'll just pick it up straight away and see what the deal is. I'm not a professional, but I think I've found the problem. It looks like a rivet or something is stuck. All right. No wonder it got stuck in there. Look how sharp that is. Let's see what mess lies beneath that hole. When I pick up a cow's foot like that, I'm actually pretty chuffed to find something sticking into her foot because usually that is the cause of the pain and therefore it's really easily remedied and we can fix the cow in one swift trim. That is not to be the case with this cow because this foot has yet to reveal all of its surprises. You guys are lucky actually, because you have the benefit of this video and knowing that this foot has a surprise in store for us. So comment right now if you can tell what is wrong with this foot that I haven't quite picked up on when I was actually trimming it. Looking back, it's actually fairly obvious. That, folks, is what you call a premature celebration. And as you can see, because she had overgrowth, it meant that the nail only went as deep as the hoof horn, and this isn't going to be a lasting problem of any sort. And hopefully, she'll walk out the crush without any lameness issue whatsoever. Oh, I've spoken too soon. Now that surprised me. I was not looking on this foot at all for any problem. But as you can see, we've definitely found one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because it just seemed so obvious that it was the nail. Okay, so when I first picked this up, this is not what I thought was going to happen. I thought we'd pull out that nail, trim it back, and whatever problem we found, we would deal with. This hoof horn is a little thin, but this is a major problem, or at least an extremely painful problem. This is slightly flexible, but I think we're going to build up a good layer of glue here using a hard block so that we can get all of the weight off here and allow this to heal, because this will heal very, very quickly. So we're not pushing this down too firmly because we want the glue to form a good barrier and reinforce that hoof horn underneath and spread the load right across the whole of the sole so that it doesn't create any pinch points. We're using a hard block so that the whole thing stays rigid and when she steps here, that weight will be transferred right across the whole sole and this should hopefully heal. She is definitely still in pain, but we'll revisit her in four weeks time. So click the subscribe button below so you get a notification when her video will next be up. Guys, thanks for joining us. This has been The Hoof GP.